The Exig's -Ex Brain by Lisa Mosconi is an in-depth exploration of the female brain, focusing on its unique structure, function, and the impact of sex hormones on cognition. The book draws on an extensive research and data from various fields, including neuroscience, endocrinology, genetics, and psychology, to provide a comprehensive understanding of the female brain. Mosconi argues that the female brain is not simply a smaller version of the male brain, but rather exhibits distinct features and vulnerabilities that are shaped by sex hormones and social factors throughout life. The book begins by discussing the evolutionary origins of the human brain, highlighting the importance of social connections and communication in shaping its development. Mosconi explains that the female brain has evolved to be more attuned to social cues and emotional nuances, which are crucial for successful reproduction and child-rearing. This difference in evolutionary priorities between the sexes is reflected in the brain's structure and function. One of the key features of the female brain is its higher density of gray matter, particularly in regions associated with emotional regulation, empathy, and social cognition. The amygdala, for instance, is larger and more active in women, allowing them to process emotional stimuli more efficiently. This heightened emotional sensitivity also extends to the prefrontal cortex, which plays a critical role in decision-making and impulse control. Women tend to have thicker prefrontal cortexes, particularly in areas involved in social cognition, such as the anterior cingulate cortex and the orbitofrontal cortex. The book also delves into the role of sex hormones in shaping the female brain. Estrogen, the primary female sex hormone, has a profound effect on brain function, influencing everything from neuronal growth and synaptic plasticity to neurotransmitter levels. For instance, estrogen promotes the growth of new neurons in the hippocampus, which is essential for learning and memory. It also modulates the release of serotonin and dopamine, two key neurotransmitters involved in mood regulation and cognition. Testosterone, on the other hand, plays a more limited role in the female brain, but it does have some important effects. In particular, testosterone is involved in the development of the prefrontal cortex, which is responsible for executive functions such as attention, working memory, and problem solving. Higher levels of testosterone in women have been linked to better cognitive performance, including verbal fluency and spatial ability. Throughout the book, Mosconi also discusses the impact of social factors on the female brain. She argues that gender roles and societal expectations can shape brain development and function, leading to differences in cognitive abilities and vulnerabilities between men and women. For example, girls are more likely to engage in verbal tasks and develop language skills early on while boys tend to excel at spatial tasks and develop math skills. This difference in early learning experiences can lead to self-reinforcing patterns of brain development, with each gender becoming more specialized in their respective areas of expertise. The book also explores the unique vulnerabilities of the female brain, particularly with respect to neurological disorders. Women are more likely to develop certain types of neurological conditions, such as Alzheimer's disease and multiple sclerosis and they often experience different symptoms and progression patterns compared to men. In addition, sex hormones can exacerbate the symptoms of these disorders, making treatment more challenging. One of the most significant vulnerabilities of the female brain is its susceptibility to toxic exposures. Osconi highlights the role of environmental pollutants, such as pesticides and heavy metals, in disrupting hormonal balance and causing neurological damage. She argues that women, particularly pregnant women and young girls, are at greater risk of exposure to these toxins and thus face a higher risk of developing neurological disorders. The Exig's brain also discusses the importance of gender-specific research in understanding the female brain. Mosconi emphasizes that most neuroscience research has historically focused on male subjects, leading to a lack of understanding about the unique features and vulnerabilities of the female brain. She calls for more inclusive research designs that incorporate female subjects and account for the effects of sex hormones and social factors on brain function. In conclusion, the XX brain provides a comprehensive overview of the female brain, highlighting its unique structure, function, and vulnerabilities. By drawing on extensive research from various fields, Mosconi paints a complex and nuanced picture of the female brain challenging traditional notions of gender differences and emphasizing the importance of considering sex hormones and social factors in understanding cognition. The book offers valuable insights for researchers, clinicians, and anyone interested in gaining a deeper understanding of the female mind.